Hey guys, that's I just imported all the video that I shot today from the work I was doing on the van and realized that somehow I either didn't record or I accidentally deleted um, an introduction to what I was actually doing. So I thought I'd uh, quickly record this after the fact. Basically the work I was doing today was about installing a battery charger um, in the van. It's one that will... Keep snoozing. Yeah, the battery charger is one that gets plugged into one of the sockets that is um, powered when we're on electrical hookup. So it just means that when we're on electrical hookup, it's constantly charging the leisure battery as well. Because our fridge, our tap, our hob, um, and some of the USB ports that I put in there are all powered off of the battery. Obviously they're all powered off of the battery, but they're all powered off the leisure battery. So if we're sitting there for a couple of days and we don't drive, um, the battery will just gradually wear down. Um, so with the battery charger being in there, if we're on hookup, it will automatically recharge the leisure battery. Okay, so with all that, maybe somebody will find this useful. I just guessed most of the way through this. So let me know what you think. Cheers guys. I'm gonna drill a hole, I think just around here, um, which is the easy part. Then I've got to drill a hole, I think it'll be under here, if I can get a drill in there. How the freak do I get into this? So I wouldn't recommend doing this at home. So I've never used one of these before. It's a step drill, it's to make uh, bigger holes in, in metal and other materials, but you gradually just make the hole bigger. I need it big enough to fit this through. So I think that's about 15 mil. Yeah, the width of that is about 15 mil. There is a 16 mil hole on here. So I think that's what we need. I'm gonna double check under the van one more time just to make sure I know exactly where I'm drilling my hole and I don't drill into anything that's going to be too important um, and then hopefully I can crack on and just get it done. Should be as simple as two holes and that's it. It'll be just above there. Which looks fine. As far as I can tell there's nothing, nothing important directly where I want to drill so I'm going to have a go and hopefully it doesn't blow up. I'm going to drill a quick pilot hole and just to give me something to work on and I'll double check again underneath to make sure it's not connecting with anything it shouldn't be. Yeah, that should be fine. I've just got to be careful when using the big step drill not to catch on the wires that are already going through there. There we go. Okay, that wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. That's pretty straightforward actually. <laughs> but we haven't finished yet, so uh, there's still time for shit to go wrong. I think, well I'd like to get a grommet as well, so I might have to pick up a small grommet from somewhere. So now I just need to repeat that, but in the engine bay, which is going to be a little bit harder. I'm going to try and drill just under here, can't see that at all, just under here, make a nice clean hole, that should be fine. And that should come out just under that red pipe. Thought I'd explain my setup here, because it's a bit of a mess right now, but I'm working on improving it. I'm going to replace the fuse box with something a bit more substantial and tidy up these wires a little bit, extend them so they can go around the bottom in some trunking. This is going to be mounted on the side panel over here. That will have the battery charger plugged into it and the battery charger will go down here so it's easy to see the display and then the wires will hopefully end up going through the hole that we just drilled. As long as we can get some grommets to fit it 
uh, it should be a pretty straightforward job. And then hopefully that will look a lot tidier because it's a damn mess. The fuse box at the moment is a pretty cheap one. As you can see, I've got one live coming in and then every accessory that I put onto it, I'm having to uh, spur the live off onto another um, terminal. This is going to look a complete mess if I carry on using it. So I'm going to get one where you've got one live coming in and a negative coming out um, and the live feeds all of the terminals just to make it a lot more simple and tidy. We also removed the remainder of the panels because they were all upholstered in the red and white. And we've ended up selling the whole original interior on eBay and they're going with it. So I trace around them in plywood and we're going to cut them out in plywood and stain them. So hopefully we'll get that done in the next couple of weeks and it'll be a nice simple interior. The weather's turned a little bit so it's got quite a lot darker but I got a grommet in, had to drill the hole a little bit bigger to get it in. It's not sitting perfect yet so I need to go on the underneath and push it. But that should be fine, now I've got to go drill the other hole. So got rained off. <laughs> I was just about to start drilling the other hole and um, and it started tipping it down. A massive downpour. So I'm gonna have a go see if I can carry on. It started tipping it down again. <laughs> right, I can have a look underneath, make sure I'm drilling in the right spot. Yep, it's fine. I'm soaked, but it's fine. Yeah, that fits fine. Okay, my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna. Right, I got my external battery pack just to keep my camera going because it just kept dying. And got a grommet. I'm gonna try and fit in that hole now because this should be the last step. This ain't the best weather to be doing it in. I'm gonna have to go back under and get soaked. Grommet is on. Thank the Lord. Now I just need to get it in that hole. Ah, some more fiddling and making the hole a little bigger. The grommet is in, the cable is through. And now all I have to do is connect that up to the battery. Which I think I'll do on another day because I am too wet. I was a little bit worried that this cable wasn't going to be long enough because they're sealed as well, so I can't even undo it and reconnect it but that should be long enough there's another cable to go on there that will reach to the battery yeah it's plenty of cable all right it's too wet i'm going in i probably should have waited until the rain completely stopped because i ended up getting soaked so i need to go take a shower and um, i'm really glad to have got the battery charger done i wasn't sure where i was going to draw the holes or how i was going to do it and whether i'd get the grommets to fit because again, this is all completely new stuff to me. So um, I think it turned out pretty well. There weren't any major snags. I only spent about 15 quid on the step drill and a couple of quid on grommets. Um, and it was maybe two or three hours work. I think underneath the van, where the wires go from the um, slanted uh, engine wall to the straight one, I have all the technical terms. 
I think I'm gonna put some trunking in between that just to cover those wires up because um, they are pretty exposed under there. That is for a day when there isn't any rain. Okay, great. Well, I will catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks very much for checking this out. Peace. Cheers. Bye.